Now this is the Hitway H5 electric scooter and what a beast it is. Uh, it's an upgrade from the last two that I've had and I'll go through with you why I've purchased this one on top of the others that I've got. Um, but first of all, let's just go through some of the basics on it and then we'll see it in action. I'll show you the dimensions shortly with the tape measure, uh, but if we're going through the weight first, well, the weight comes in, obviously with nobody on it, at 23.13 kilograms. The motor's 48 volts. Now that's rated at 500 watts, but it's got a peak power of 800 watts, and you'll see that actually written on the motor. The battery capacity is 48 volts, 13 ampere. The motor type, well, it's a brushless motor, and the maximum load is 150 kilograms. Obviously, if you're lighter than that, it'll go faster and further. So the recommended weight is between 45 kilograms and 100 kilograms. The charging time for the battery is six to eight hours. Your brakes, well, your front and rear are both disc brakes. And obviously when you take your finger off the accelerator, it'll slow down through the motor as well. As far as the speed goes, well, in the lowest speed mode, it's 25 kilometers per hour or 15 and a half miles per hour. In the high speed mode, it's 45 kilometers per hour or 28 miles per hour. You've got your cruise control on it. Uh, obviously a headlight on the front. There's also a speaker for the horn. The tires are 10 inch and they're honeycomb tires, so there's no air in them. On the front for suspension, you've got a spring shock absorber, and on the rear, you've got strut shock absorbers. The frame's made up of aluminium alloy. You've got indicators on there, or of your American turn signals. And finally, the battery is lithium iron. So on the right handlebar, something that you don't see on many scooters, you've got a key, which basically means that if you've got any children, they can't use this if they can't find the key, which is great. And then you come up to the control screen there and that shows you your trip computer so how many miles you've done or kilometers you can set it up however you want it also shows you what gear you're in whether you've got a safe start or an immediate start how much battery is remaining and a lot of that's controlled through the two buttons there so the mode and the on and off and this is your accelerator on the other handlebar we've got a switch for the light so on and off You've got your indicator there, so left and right turns. And finally, you've got this, which is your horn. Now the lithium ion batteries are all in the bed of this, and it's a huge bed. So if we just measure it across, talking just over seven inches on width, and for the length of it, it's up here, it's uh, just over 21 inches. Now, if you have a look here, you've got those bolts because you can attach a chair to it or a seat, I should say, but there isn't one on this model. Right, let's have a look at just how easy this breaks down. Before I uh, crank that down, on the handlebars, you've got sleeves here. If you pull those sleeves back, the handles come down, lift them up, clicks back into place, and that's a safety sprung mechanism, so that's not going anywhere. Right, so to, to break it down, pull this safety pin out there, that slips up and all you do is literally fold it back like that and you'll hear it, it clicks into place. Now that's not going anywhere. Unlike some of the other scooters that I've got where you've got to attach them at the back, what I've found is when you pick the scooter up by the handle, that can release uh, and, and the scooter just springs back, which is no good when you're carrying it down the road or onto a train. With this, however, it's fixed. You simply pick it up. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to break there and you're away. And it's the reverse of that just to get it back up. So again, pull the pin there, pull that back, start to lift it, clicks into place, push that down, pin out, and that's it. Again, locked in, not going anywhere. Obviously you've got adjustment on the height of the handlebars and simply pull that out and you'll see that you've actually got 12 inches of extension. Lock that into place, they're not going anywhere. And we've got the charging port on the right hand side, and that's not your normal jack plug, that's a three pin plug in there just because of the power that it's putting through. Also on either side, additional to the indicators, you've got some other LED bars there just for funkiness, I presume. I've only got one criticism of the Hitway scooter, and that's this display screen. 
Uh, I've been having a look to see if there's a hack online, but I haven't been able to find one yet, just to make it brighter. In sunny conditions, it's really difficult to see. But what this does tell you, uh, it tells you, obviously, the battery, how many miles you've done in total. It tells you what the trip is on the mileage. It tells you what speed you're in, one, two or three. It shows you whether you're in cruise, the speed that you're going, and you can change that to miles or kilometers. It tells you whether you're in um, the start mode that you're in. In other words, do you have to push it off to get going or does it start straight away? Now, I've, I've set it on the push it off before you get going because I find it pretty dangerous just to press this button and it starts going. So it tells you a lot, uh, it's just difficult to see. And just look how chunky the tires are. They must be about three and a half inches across those. So just to do a, a small comparison on a few things about why I prefer this one over this Okai one that I've had for over a year now. Well, when I bought this, it was the best thing since sliced bread. It had a, a much wider and longer base than the other scooter that I had. It was more powerful. Um, it was great. This, however, it's got a, an even wider and longer base. So as I've already said, eight inches by 21. This is just over seven by 16. That makes such a difference when you're riding it. You're not having to look at your feet and think, I, I, am I on? Do I need to get comfortable? You're just comfortable on it straight away. One of the other things that I pointed out was uh, the carrying of it. So, although this is nice and simple to break down, probably simpler, just go like that. You have to lock it in place with this and it locks into place and then you lift it up. This has come this has come out when I've been carrying it uh, and it's just sprung up so not perfect that one it's not going anywhere I suppose really though the main difference for me and why I love this one if you're a scooter rider you'll know that going over the smallest of obstacles just makes you jump up and down and it, it, it's uncomfortable on your arms you're riding like that with the suspension on the front and with the struts on the back I'm not saying it's eradicated because it isn't, but it is so much more comfortable to ride. You're not being thrown all over the place and being jolted around. With this one, no suspension uh, and you feel it, you feel the difference. Also, the power on this, I'll show you on, um, on a hill up to the house. This one, I'd have to weave to get up the hill. This one will take me up in a straight line. So an awful lot more powerful than the Okai one. And also on the Okai, you've got no adjustment on the handlebar height. Okay, so that's the specifications gone through and a quick overview of uh, how everything operates on the and the suspension brakes, etc. Let's see it in operation. Right now, the Okai one wouldn't have a chance of getting up this hill, but this one, set off. Now, I'm certainly not saying it's the fastest of scooters, but it's getting me up without having to weave. And as I said, there's no way the Okai one would be able to do that. And then as we're coming up to the crest of the hill, and I'm in the lowest gear as well, or should I say the, the slowest gear. So yeah, as you can see, worked perfectly up there. We'll go through the process of just switching it on and setting off. And then I want to do a comparison between the Hitware and the Okai, because I've just done them both again next to each other. And oh, the shock that you're getting through the handlebars and your legs on the Okai compared to this one with the suspension, absolutely night and day so to get yourself going simply key in turn it on you've got your power button there keep your finger on it the screen comes on again it tells you whether you're in high medium or low gear well, I know it's not geared but you know what I mean uh, so I'm in three light on horn if I want to use it indicator there don't need to use that uh, and that's basically it so I've got it in the safety set off which is you need to push it with your finger on the accelerator so it doesn't just take you away so let's just do that and that's how easy it is and you can feel through my voice that the uh, the suspension's cushioning the vast majority of things so coming back now I'm going over twigs and bumps in the path Cracks in the path, so, so comfortable. And braking, whoop, and off. Right, let's do the, uh, the Okai, and you should hear in my voice the difference on it. It's so much more un uncomfortable than the Hitway. So the Okai, very similar, switch it on, sort your speed out, and then off. 
Now the bed's not as big, so it's uncomfortable or more uncomfy. And you can hear through going along that it's quite a bit shakier. Now don't get me wrong, the Okai is still better than the first scooter that I got, which had a really thin bed. Uh, so this isn't as fast, certainly not as fast as the Hitway. Uh, a lot more uncomfortable. The bed isn't as big, but as I said, bigger than the one that I had previously. So it's a good scooter, uh, but the Hitway just, just blows it out of the water. Right, so I've said about the LED bar on either side, the coloured LED bar. I've figured out how to turn it on now, and it's basically key in, turn the unit on. When the screen comes on, you just keep your finger on the mode button, and then hopefully, yep, switches on. Just for some decorative light purposes, you're going along at night time. And turn it off, just finger back on, and it's off. Right then, so in summary, what do I think of the Hitway H5? It's absolutely fantastic. It's so much comfier to ride than any of the other scooters that I've had. And predominantly, the reason for that is the rear shocks and the front springs. They just dampen down any cracks in the road that you're going over, any twigs that you're going over. They just make the ride an absolute dream. It's so robust. Um, I say when you break it down, you can pick it up. You know that it's not going to fall to pieces. It's easy to put back up again. With the handlebars coming down, you can get this on a train, absolutely no problem whatsoever. The speed of it, well, you get a top speed of just over 50 miles per hour. Now, I'm six foot tall. I'm not the heaviest of people, uh, but that's what I get out of it. And what I've found on a lot of these scooters is there are hacks where you can get around that and make them go faster. As far as battery power goes and also the length of the battery once it's charged, well, you've seen me going up the slope near my house. The other, the other scooters would not be able to do that. So it's obviously packing a bigger punch. And as far as distance goes, well, I've recharged it a few times now. It's had quite a bit of use. I've never run out. It's always given me the, uh, the confidence that it's gonna last with what's on the screen. And I think once you take away the power and the comfort, it's a nice looking bike. It's got the indicators. It's got a nice little horn on it. Why wouldn't you buy this? Right, I've just come back on the Okai. Uh, my son brought the Hitway back and it's a world apart. My arms were getting rattled. I thought my watch was going to fall off my wrist. Uh, the Hitway, perfect. If you're out there scootering and you want a comfy ride, that Hitway is just so robust, so powerful. It's absolutely fantastic. And as I'm off to take the car in for a service now, why not come back the three miles on the Hitway rather than getting a lift off my wife?